All right, welcome to the Moo and Brew channel. Uh, this is part of our trailer build. This is the three compartment sink. It's upside down here. And uh, we bought this used, which there's absolutely no reason to buy new on this. But uh, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty. I don't know if the camera's focusing in or not, but Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try to clean this up before we install it. And uh, I have this 64 Galaxy tucked up in here that I bought this kit for. It's a polishing kit. Uh, the wheels are made by Zephyr. And uh, we're going to start out with this. It's probably overkill, but this DeWalt. It's hooked up to our grinder. Uh, I'm sure you can find plenty of YouTube videos on the uh, Zephyr kits. They're really good. But uh, we're going to clean this up. First thing we're going to do is just get the heavy stuff off of it, the dust and pollen that's on it, and uh, see if we can't shine it up and make it look like new before we uh, install it into our coffee trailer. And again, this may be overkill, but like I said, I bought this kit uh, for the wheels on my 64 Galaxy. And I'll put a link to that description too if you're in the cars. I'll let you check it out on the other channel. Anyway, this is the Zephyr. Uh, this isn't bad, so we're going to start out with the medium pad. It's green. If you've never done this before, don't do it. <laughs> Uh, you really need to be accustomed to using a grinder and buffer and such to be able to do this. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world. You can probably hurt yourself. So anyway, that being said, starting out with the green, green rouge, respirator, because we don't want to breathe in any of the stainless steel that may come off, gloves, okay. Okay, here's a little bit of an update. Hope y'all can see this. The uh, polished obviously here. I haven't polished this here. Uh, again, I hope you can see this. Uh, so much smoother. You can hear it there. Pretty happy with the top part. Uh, the bottom part's going to continue to get cleaned. Um, just a little bit of residue from the buffing compound in there. The front is just full of scratches. It just wouldn't come. Uh, smooth I guess and I didn't really want to sand it out but it's uh, much cleaner than what it was but definitely happy with the way the top turned out Okay, so we were getting ready to install the sink floors in. And one issue we ran into was the sink was gonna come to right here, which would have been right in the middle of the window. And obviously we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is probably come close to center in the sink, maybe a little bit off to the right, three compartment sink. And it'll go over here to this window. what we're going to do is cut out this area give or take and bend this down to a 90 because this top part has to be sealed to the wall for DHEC So the legs were already welded on, so we'll have to cut about two inches off of those. Okay, Jay has started framing up for the three compartment sink and the hand sink. And uh, next we'll be cutting and uh, welding a section back into it. But in the meantime, we took the whole front end off. This will be where all the equipment goes in. Under counter refrigerator here, counter here, 
ice cream freezer here. just cutting the entire back of the sink off the top of it uh, even with the shelf here and what we'll do is we'll put a nice piece of uh, 90 degree uh, molding on it and have a nice finished dress out look the little cup holders if you want to call them that on the bottom of the legs we secured those stuck the legs halfway through that way it keeps it from tearing the vinyl as it vibrates going down the road the hand sink had a bracket that came with it and it just secures the wall and gravity basically holds it in place uh, we put this wall here to kind of dress out the one side of it and I think we're going to go ahead and dress out the front as well. The refrigerator is in and uh, if you can see behind it it's kind of tough. We put a 2x2 two two there just rip the 2x4 in half so it uh, doesn't go all the way against the wall so there's some ventilation there. And if you see here we notched out this 1x4 and we put in front of the brackets and the bolts just fit in the notched out area. Overall, it's coming together good. We appreciate you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.